welcome guys most of the time we need some geometry for analysis in fluent it means cfd analysis we need to have a geometry of fluid domain only but in most of the cases we have a solid domain inside that we will have the fluid domain like what i am showing here here i am showing an image of a solid domain inside the solid domain there is a tube like fluid domain so in this case we need to analyze only the fluid which is flowing inside the fluid domain like pipe so what we have to do is we have to create a fluid domain inside this actually now there is no fluid domain we are seeing only a solid domain inside that there is simply a void the tube shape geometry is just a void so we have to create a fluid domain inside the tube shape void so let us see how we can do that first of all we have to close all the ends of that fluid domain now i am creating a surface to close the boundary of that fluid domain similarly i am repeating the same in the other side because the geometry is having two openings one at the inlet and another at the outlet i am closing all that inlets and outlets by creating a surface the next step is to create fill it means we have to fill the void which is inside that geometry the void the tube shaped geometry is to be filled with a fluid domain so now a new fluid domain has been created and we can see two parts one is the solid part another one is the fluid part in general we need to analyze only the fluid domain not that solid domain so what we have to do is we can suppress that solid domain so that it will not come along with the geometry i mean in the next step we can mesh only the fluid domain so for that purpose we can suppress the geometry and we can have only the fluid domain uh, let us see how it is appearing in the next meshing stage in the meshing stage now we can see that only the fluid domain appears here the solid domain doesn't appear as we have already suppressed that hope this will help you thank you